Hello and welcome to my 300th plot. That really is a lot of plots. I would like to talk about all of them but there isn't really enough time. So I'm gonna tell you about a few. Reveal the thought processes and easter eggs and stuff. Now those of you on Facebook have already seen my biggest thought process. Earlier this week I shared the mind map for Murder Most Pleasant. It's a very big chart full of possibilities, and I haven't even finished it. Even though the series has come to a halt, I intend to finish it so I myself can know what exactly happened to Gonzalo. But anyway. To the beginning. When I came to Plitagon, all I wanted to do was create a sitcom. The concept. I imagined a world where myself and my internet friends lived in the same flat or city. But when I went to find a scene suitable for their living room, the only thing free and close enough was Christmas living room. But it was September, which was ridiculous. And so Christmas came early, with my character being obsessed with the holiday. I think if this hadn't happened, mine and Molly's characters might have been closer to our real selves than the typical Joker and straight man setup. In later episodes, I tried to move the straight man role to Harry, which is actually pretty canon. But it's difficult to change something people know so well without causing confusion. There were so many great moments in the R Flat series, and it became the basis of my channel. I'm working on the third series alongside another which we'll talk about in a bit. One of my favorite episodes is called Fall Onto My Plane. I can't quite remember why I called it that, but it was the first spy plot I created. It wasn't until the sequel that Martin Sloan suggested the idea of a spy series. And that's when the top secret Avengers of Molly Helen was born. To this day, I'm not sure why I only did five episodes. It was such a great series, though its revival spawned a plot with the most inside jokes, puns, and easter eggs of all my 300. The first new dialogue of the second top secret Avengers of Molly Helen was actually a real conversation between me and my brother. And then there's the bargain hunt references which stem back to my first voice acted plot with the queen clearly stating I hate bargain hunt, and it's been a running joke ever since. Spy Helen gets a phone call from a policewoman with a lisp which stemmed from me speaking the lines ridiculously as I was writing them. I said that if the police and David insisted I make it a legit feature of the plot. Cassandra's funeral music is actually me playing the birdie song in the minor key on my electric organ. Then it continues with various ridiculous gags such as describing Cassandra's soca line which basically means chicken-like, and the apparently chickens aren't capable of emotional abuse line. I'll round it off with a breakage of the fourth wall and the morning of Dimwanicoat from Bargain Hunt. Wow, you see why I can't talk about all of them. That got descriptive. Though my most popular series is I R M Amanda. And I'm endlessly proud of the that find day concept in all the series in that style people are now making. My favorite series is a little show called Power Man. Power Man is based on a short called The Adventures of Fire Lord, which in turn is based off in our flat short where I play all the extras in a superhero movie. It's also a direct pun on Superman. If there's anything I recommend you watch, it's Power Man. My most popular plot is called The Man Eating Bear. I think that's mostly to do with the voice, which was very hard to do and I probably can't recreate. My basic creation process was me giggling and saying that it was going to be a staff pick whilst making strange noises into a microphone about Philly Wombles or whatever. Oh and it was also David's voice record premiere. I hope he is super proud of that amazing ad break. The hardest voice record I've done was singing Everybody in Love by JLS in the voice of the Queen. Anyway. That's all I can fit in for now. Maybe I'll make another one of these plots highlighting different areas. If you have any questions about any plots of thought processes you can ask me in the comments. Bye for now.